Take one. Good day, folks. I'm Mick from Iron Fem. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Good day folks, I'm Mick van Sale from Ironman 4x4. One of the things that we as four-wheel drivers love doing is lifting our four-wheel drive vehicles, our trucks. And we do it with a suspension lift and sometimes we fit bigger wheels and tires. Now specifically on vehicles that have solid axles, bigger wheels and tires are really the only way you get more clearance under the axle. So you know, I'm one of those people, I have bigger tires and wheels on my truck. And there are a couple of issues when you do do this. Um, one of the biggest issues is clearance of your tires in and around the wheel well of the vehicle, especially independently sprung vehicles. You may not need to trouble where the bigger wheel and tire combination causes the tire to touch and fell on the bodywork of the vehicle, especially when you're articulating off-road, you can damage the tire and you can damage your bodywork. Another area that's gonna be negatively affected by fitting bigger tires is that you're gonna be dropping your engine revs at a certain speed compared to normal sized tires. And while this sounds like a, a good idea, you're actually gonna cause your vehicle to work harder at the end of the day. And the myth that you're going to save fuel by dropping the engine revs is, well, it's a myth, it's totally untrue. Your vehicle is just gonna work harder, turning the bigger circumference wheel, trying to get up the hill. And you'll notice this immediately, you'll have to be dropping down a gear, whereas previously with a standard size tire, you wouldn't have to drop down a gear. However, the most important factor that is affected by fitting bigger tires is brake efficiency. And it's something that very few people pay attention to. Now, I found this out the hard way on my Land Cruiser 76 series. Fitted bigger tires and immediately when traveling at speed on the highway, I noticed a definite decrease in the efficiency of the braking system. And I actually fitted an uprated braking system, uprated discs and uprated pads. That's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is to fit bigger diameter discs with bigger calipers. And this then matches the increase in size as a ratio of the increase of your tire size. The other thing that you need to be careful of is the actual weight of your wheel and tire combination. Heavier tires, I'm talking about all-terrain tires and chunky mud-terrain tires, they're much heavier than the highway terrain tires your vehicle came out with. In doing some research on the facts and the figures on this subject, I came across two very interesting points. Firstly, a 10 kilogram increase in the weight of your wheel and tire combination will give you a decrease of up to 2% in the efficiency of your brakes. By the same token, for every percentage you go up in wheel diameter, you're losing a percent of wheel efficiency. And while these percentages don't sound like much, at the end of the day, if they mean a two to three meter increase in your stopping distance, if that point is past the back of the vehicle in front of you, you've got a real problem. So bear this in mind, if you're gonna go bigger in wheels and tires, you have to look at your braking system. Put on better brakes or put on bigger brakes, but do something about your brakes. Thank you.